there's really no way to do this but to just come out and say it, but I'm done. I'm making this video in reference to the 52 week challenge. To be honest, I've been finding it quite difficult, a lot more difficult than I feel it should be to get my 10% each week. Everything was good when I was ahead and when things were going good. Then I just call this negative momentum and really, I just need a break. Really, I just need to stop. Honestly, there are a number of reasons I'm done with this challenge. Uh, first off, the market is actually really difficult right now for day-to-day -day trading options. I don't think the current market environment is good for options trading, at least not if you're doing anything short-term, especially not trading weeklies, just due to overall stock price action in the way the moves actually occur. Uh, most stocks will consolidate until options contracts have had the time to lose considerable value before either blasting up or blasting down. And as the move will go where you expect it to go, but it'll take a lot longer and it's really like killing my contracts. Honestly, this challenge was supposed to be something simple for me. Call me overly optimistic. I definitely identify as someone who keeps the glass half full, but I also believe you get more of what you focus on. So I choose to focus on positive things. But with that being said, yeah, the challenge is over. On this channel, I still intend to show how I trade options, things that are working out for me, options, trading strategies, ideas. But I also want to get more into long-term investing as well. That's one of the things I actually regret, not pushing more of that on this channel, because ever since I created the Discord, I really had the chance to talk to and connect with a lot of people. And I've noticed that the majority of you that see my channel see options is not only an investment vehicle as a sole source of income. There may be people who do that in this world. I don't know anyone who only does that. I have other sources of income, so it's not just options trading. And honestly, I would say since about mid February, if my income was solely based on options, I would be struggling right now. I could not pay my bills. There's been a shift in the market and I wouldn't be able to sustain myself. So going forward in the coming weeks, I'm still out in Europe, traveling mostly in Portugal. I'll be out here for a little bit. The content that you're going to see on this channel, you may see a little more personal travels for, first off, just so I have memories. And if any of y'all connect with that, don't hesitate to watch those videos. I'm just sharing them on my channel as memories. But over the next couple months, I'm going to show more low effort strategies that take more time strategies that you don't need to watch as much but right now a lot of my day-to-day -day life uh, as you can see in this video right here if you want to take a look my wife made a vlog is i'm, I'm all over the place the stock market opens at 1 30 2 30 p.m depending on daylight savings out here and it closes at 9 p.m out here so by the time the stock market opens out here while I'm in Europe, I might be sitting right here at my desk at the start of the day, but really I'm all over the place and I'm honestly not giving it the attention I should be. And I'm going to adjust my strategy to that. I want to be in trades or in positions where I don't have to think about it. So that means I want to add more just to my stock portfolio. That means I'm going to sell more premium. That means while maybe the potential profit is a lot lower. The consistency is a lot higher. I want to do things like sell premium. So in the coming weeks, expect to see a lot more stuff like that. Maybe a little bit of me traveling, maybe a little just me sharing my thoughts, things I'm investing in. And yeah, once I see the market wants to be a easy money market again and stop with all the tricks and stop with all the manipulation and chill out, maybe I'll start buying naked options again. But right now I'm done with the 52 week options trading challenge. I hate to say I failed a third time. If you saw the second one, I haven't forgot. I still need to skydive. When we get back to Texas, some of y'all been asking me about that. When I get back to Texas, I'm here for it. But anyways, just wanted to provide this video as a sense of closure. To those of you watching the challenge, all right, this is the end. Unfortunately, maybe it'll come back in the future. Maybe I'll stick to like monthly challenges. It's, yo, I think this is a good month. Maybe I'm on right now. Maybe I came into a lot more money. Maybe in December, hey, we'll get something going. Maybe I can do something for Christmas gifts or something. I don't know. I love being here on YouTube. I've been able to share what I know and connect and find so many like-minded people and just make so many cool friends. And I intend to continue to do that. So if you rock with me, yo, expect to continue seeing more of me. But yeah, that's the conclusion of the challenge.
if you have any questions or comments, yo, drop them down below in the comment. If for some reason you're new here, you made it this far in the video and haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I don't know, maybe you like the way I talk. I'm just, I'm legit just talking this video. So why you watch this far if you don't like me? If you made it this far, subscribe. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching this video. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.